A long time ago, a time before airplanes and cars and buses and trains, a time before television, CD players, computers, and video games, there was a quaint little village in a green valley next to a gently flowing river. Artists came from miles around to paint pictures of the valley with its river and village because it was so beautiful. And the name of the village was Hamlin. <laughs> see things were not quite right in Hamlin. Needless to say, the good citizens of Hamlin were very concerned. <laughs> in fact, there goes one now. It's Mr. Rye. He's the town baker. Everyone loves his rolls if they can get to them before the rats do. And there's Miss Lilyspoon. She's the town librarian. Good morning, Miss Lilyspoon. Why, hello, dear. Have you seen the book Three Blind Mice? It's disappeared from the library again, and I can't find it anywhere. <laughs> uh, Miss Lilyspoon, Miss Lilyspoon, I found your book. Oh, well. Look, here comes Constable Blarney. He's the policeman, and he keeps order in our little village. Hello, Constable Blarney. Well, hello. It is a fine morning. I'd love to stay and chat, but... I need to get over and open the office. Oh, oh dear, I, I seem to have misplaced my keys. Let's see. I, I, I had them when I left home. Maybe, maybe I dropped them on the street. Uh, goodbye, Constable Blarney. I, I know I had them when I reached the corner. Oh, there's Miss Finney. She runs the bank. Hello, Miss Finney. Good morning. I'm off to the bank to deposit more money. Best you... place for your hard-earned money. The bank... Very secure. Yes, sir, you can rest easy knowing that your money is safe with me. Well, I've got to be off. Busy day ahead of me. Sorting money, counting money, protecting money. A banker's job is never done. So that's the town of Hamlin. Wait, don't forget the children. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, the children. How could we forget the children? There's Jimmy and Lisa... Billy and Wendy, Tommy and Susan. Wait, don't forget me. I'm the mayor of this fair city. Hello there. Good to see you again. Mrs. Pickle, let me see that sweet baby of yours. Beautiful child. You are very fortunate. <laughs> Rats! This was a peaceful village with our children and their names. 
Our town is overrun with rats. What a mess! What a terrible dilemma! What an awful situation we are in. We detest all the chaos in our living, and we've had it up to here. We won't give in to those rats. All the squeaking and their nibbling and their running over and under foot. Rats can't control them. Won't condone them. Switching and their noses always sniffing this and that. Not a cuddly little fellow like a puppy or a pillow. It's a nuisance. It's a rat. It's a rat. What a mess! What a terrible dilemma! What an awful situation we are in. We detest all the chaos in our living, and we've had it up to here. One day, while the mayor and his council were meeting, things in the village got completely out of hand. And so the dragon raised his ugly head above the brave knight and roared with a mighty sound that shook all the trees. <laughs> Goodness me! Where did my book go? For me, Tommy. They're so beautiful. Ah! That rat took my flowers. When's the next practice? I don't know. I hope I make the team. Ah, just keep working on catching. The ball. That rat took our ball. Here's the money for the bread, Mr. Rye. Thank you, Lisa. Enjoy your oh rats after them. Stop, everyone! Quiet, quiet! And I'll move away. That's it. Move away. <laughs> Now, is there a problem here? I think so. Oh, yes, yes, okay, okay, just settle down. I'll get on the case right away, as soon as I can find my keys. With all respect, Constable, that's what you said the last time. And the time before that. And we know that you have really tried to get rid of the rats. But there are just too many of them. The situation is completely out of hand. Where is the mayor? The mayor's got to do something. We want the mayor. We, we want, want the mayor. mayor. We want the mayor. Quiet, we quiet, want the mayor. Quiet, good citizens. What can I do for you? Mr. Mayor, you've simply got to do something about these rats. That's right. They're everywhere and in, into everybody's business. Yes, they steal our money eat our bread, and they're not very polite. They're downright rude, and I don't like them very much at all. What I are you going to Just calm down and go home. I shall call an emergency meeting of the town council to form a plan. Everything will be taken care of. Don't worry now. Just go on home. We'll get right on it. We've got a rodent problem. It's something we must discuss. It's come to our attention and created quite a fuss. All of our friends and neighbors are ready to scream and shout. And if we don't do something, they're going to throw us out. What's with the rats? What's with the rats? We need a 
plan that's simple. Simple and yet direct. Something to send them packing. Something they won't suspect. What's with the rats? What's with the rats? What are they doing here? If we don't make them relocate, our jobs will disappear. What'll I do? Our jobs will disappear. Unemployment. Our jobs will disappear. We need a plan. I want action now. You, Pennywinkle, what's your plan? I, I, I haven't got a plan, sir. Haven't got a plan? Haven't got a plan? This is absurd. We must have a plan. You, Quigley, do you have a plan? Well, Mr. Mayor, you see, I was thinking that we could... That is, uh, perhaps we would... Well, you see, uh, actually, no. I can't believe this. We have pesky rats everywhere, and no one has come up with a way to get rid of them. Uh, I've got a plan now. I think I've got one, too. Let's hear them. Pennywinkle, you first. Traps, sir. Big traps with cheese. We've tried that. They steal the cheese and the traps. Yes, Quigley? We play loud music. Tried it. Gave me a headache. The rats actually liked it. Started dancing. Pennywinkle. Maybe we could all be friends and live together in peace and harmony. With a bunch of rats, this is lunacy. Doesn't anyone have a plan? <laughs> Gentlemen, did I hear you correctly? Are you in need of a plan? Well, I have a plan. Now, wait just a minute. Who are you? Where did you come from? Why are you here? Let's see, who am I? I am called the Pied Piper. Pied because of my colorful outfit, and Piper because I play this pipe. Where am I from? I come from a distant, mysterious land. And why am I here? I am here to rid you of your rodents. And what is so special about your pipe? Watch and listen. <laughs> That is very impressive, but we don't need dancing rats running around here. No, 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 you miss my point completely. What I propose to do is to lure the rats into the river with my piping. Whoa, that would be great. No more rats. Peace and quiet. And the citizens would finally leave us alone and recognize me as the great mayor that I am. We'll pay you 5,000 guilders to get rid of the rats. That is a most gracious offer, but I don't overcharge bad for business, you know. My fee is 1,000 guilders. Oh, but I think we should just go with something. We have to come up with something. It's, it's very interesting. It's a deal. Done.
Robert Rackford. Stop all these rat jokes. I can't take it. Great show, huh? Better than cats. It's true. No more rats. <laughs> oh, we owe it all to our mayor and town council. Let's hear it now. Hip, hip. Hooray! Hip, hip. Hooray! Hip, hip. Hooray! Thank you, one and all. Now back to work. Back to our normal and wonderful lives. We'll raise a glass in celebration. No more rats. You've pulled it off again. No more rats. They've scampered off behind that fellow. No more rats. We've seen the last of them. I thought you were magnificent when things were looking gray. You acted without precedent. Take all the credit To some others I'm indebted So I bow to you And you Together we came through With no more rats We're brilliant Maybe now we'll get a bonus No more rats Incredible Best wishes to us all. I'll be in all the history books. A street will have my name. They'll build a statue in the park to recognize my fame. To recognize his fame. Oh, no, no more, no more rats. rats. You like me. You really like me. to you, town council. Are you pleased that the rats are gone? It's nice. Yeah, it's okay. Could be worse. And to show our gratitude, we would like to give you 50 guilders. 50 guilders? 
We agreed on 1,000. Oh, come now, my dear fellow. Surely you can't be serious. But we had an agreement. Yes, but all you did was blow a few notes on your pipe. You can't expect 1,000 for that. Tell you what, we'll double our offer and give you 100 guilders. This is ridiculous. I won't argue with you. Pay me my fee or you will regret it, sir. Stop now. Will someone do something? I can't get her to wake up. I can't either. She's like a statue. Children! Children! I don't think they can hear us. <laughs> this is very sad. Yes, I know. Well, that's it. That's the end of the story? They didn't live happily ever after. And the children stayed frozen forever? All because the mayor didn't live up to his promise. Oh, well, <laughs> thanks for coming. Hold on there. Just kidding. Boy, did we have them fooled. W we did? What? Oh, yeah. Here's what really happened. Well, the townspeople discovered that the mayor had gone bad on his agreement with the Pied Piper. You've gone bad on your agreement. They sent him. You did not keep your promise. They sent him. Shame, shame. <clears throat> As I was saying, they sent him off with the money to find the Pied Piper. No, 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 no. Pay, Pay the Piper. Go, go. And when he found the Pied Piper, he begged him to forgive his bad behavior and take the money that was owed him. And the Pied Piper did just that. But as they began their return trip, the Piper played a few notes, and the mayor found himself singing the children's song all the way back to Hamlin. Listen, I believe I hear the mayor returning now. <laughs> Join the fun, play hide and seek with me. Count to ten, now let's begin. Go hide where I can't see. Over there behind the wall or underneath the tree. Ready or not, cause here I come. It's fun, don't you agree? Please, may I have your attention? 
Good citizens of Hamlin, it warms my heart to see us all together again and happy. We've been through some difficult times, but now the rats are gone, and I, for one, have learned a valuable lesson that a promise once made should always be kept. And so the people of Hamlin did live happily ever after. And as for the rats, they were gone forever. Or were they?